On Sunday, on the 13th of March, at the Zimbabwe grounds, we're inviting every member, everyone. We're inviting people from various organizations, from churches, from the business community, from the informal sector, from the students, women, and labor to come and attend our big rally that we're going to be holding in the same grounds. As the MDC leadership, we are focused on the peace in the, in the nation of Zimbabwe. We have been perturbed by what has happened in Goku, where we have seen political parties fighting among themselves, causing damage and injuries to innocent people. We also we also perturbed by what happened in, in Kwekwe, in which one of our young men in Zimbabwe actually died because of politics. We are condemning that in totality. We don't expect at this juncture in 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 our time to find people fighting over political space in Zimbabwe. We have, as MDC, introduced what we call politics of rational disputation and tolerance, which means we can coexist as political parties. We should focus on development other than focus on trivial things like power issues. So the rally that we are going to be holding on Sunday is going to be focusing mainly on issues of peace, unity, and development. We want Zimbabweans to come together to work as a, a family to make sure that we save the lives of the people of Zimbabwe economically. So we are going to be talking about each things that we want is MGC. And as far as the political life is concerned in Zimbabwe, the economy of Zimbabwe, we'll be talking about that. Issues of peace, uh, issues of dialogue. We want to make sure that Zimbabwe's dialogue must not fight among ourselves whenever we, we, we whenever we have a problem or a challenge or a conflict among ourselves as Zimbabweans we must have the culture of dialogue so we'll be talking about issues of dialogue as well so the rally is going to be a platform to put our vision as MDC to, to put the trajectory the way we should go as Zimbabweans we are now combining issues of peace and by-elections and the fact that we want to project that Zimbabwe must live together as, a, as one family, as a unity. We have chosen the venue of Zimbabwe grounds simply because of its centrality. Uh, however, under the, the message of peace, we'll be talking about the by-elections, because we found that by-elections uh, have become the source of the conflict and violence as it is now. Because what we're experiencing in Zimbabwe at the moment is called electoral violence. However, uh, we want to encourage people and leaders to take responsibility and ownership. Every leader in Zimbabwe must be accountable. It must make sure that you don't cause or shed blood or shed injuries or shed pain. So cause, cause pain on any other Zimbabwean. If we go down deeper, we found that the young men who died left a wife, left a young man, left the mother, left the father, uncle, cousin, brother, sister. The, the, those people are now living. Uh, they, are now, they, are now, they are now suffering. There's no amount of money that would that would compensate death even if we give that uh, that widow some money give that child some money but they've lost their father and uh, you know after two days or so people have forgotten about that family so we are calling for leadership or for leaders in Zimbabwe not to cause not to to perpetuate violence not to be even actor or a partner in 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 violence so we are saying we want to put this emphasis on all Zimbabweans. At the moment, both ZANU-PF and CC are responsible and accountable to the death of that young man. They are responsible and accountable to the violence that has happened in Goku, violence that has happened in, in Kweku. And there are skirmishes of uh, violent activity that are taking place even in Narari. Some people are tearing down posters. That's not acceptable. That's serious violence, and you cannot do that. People are going on the platform and address that is using hate languages. And you know hate language is one of the sources of, of electoral violence. We must stop that. We must practice political professional disputation. We should focus on critical issues other than focusing on selfish messages, selfish agenda in which you want to promote your ego at the end of the, end of the day, cause and then promote violence. We don't want that. So we are actually introducing a new uh, politics in Zimbabwe in which you must be able to accept each other. We can still criticize each other, 
wherever we, we meet at rallies, but do not use hate language. It would be shocking the Zimbabweans who are going to win the by-elections, who are going to win so many seats, such that many people will be shocked. The strategy that we are using is a powerful strategy. We are not going to focus much on big rallies. We are focusing on small rallies, township rallies, whole rallies, in which we know very well we'll be communicating to the residents, to the voters. The strategy that we have employed, which is the door-to-door -door strategy, is that we are meeting with the, with the residents, we are meeting with the voters, and it's a almost 100% uh, conduct type of a campaign that we are using with individuals. And the, so far we are getting a very good uh, positive feedback, and many people are really surprised that the MDC we thought uh, is, is not there, we, they have now proved that the MDC exists, the mortgage Shangri-La legacy still goes on, and uh, they want to make sure that they don't betray the struggle. Under MDC, several people were killed. So many women were murdered. So many homes were burned. Blood was shed. And that legacy can be forgotten overnight. So the party which is claiming to be the MDC in form, which has transformed itself into CC, it's a lie. That's a new political party, a new, a new outfit, which is led by Nelson Chamisa and his sympathizers. It's, it has got nothing to do with MDC, MDC Alliance. It has no connection or any history of MDC Alliance in MDC City. It has no claim over the legacy of Morgan Shangri-La at all. Morgan Shangri-La's party still exists as uh, we are there, as the leaders of MDC. We have gone to the Congress as, as MDC. We followed our party constitution as MDC. So whoever then formed the party called CCC is a new outfit. It is, the, it is their democratic right to, to promote their political agenda through CCC. We have no qualms about that. But there must not be a lie to the Zimbabweans. They must not lie to the Zimbabweans that they are a transformed MDC, which is just turned yellow. That is not true. That's a typical lie. Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. You just heard from MDCT Chairman Morgan Komichi. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow us on all our social media platforms. Prince Miller Entertainment Instagram, Facebook and also on our YouTube channel which is Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Welcome to 13th March. Uh, 2022 for the star rally happening at Zimbabwe grounds in Fio. Yes, and we are MS. And uh, one thing again, he said here about Nyama rallies because I've heard many people on social media making funny of MDC Alliance saying, I was going to need that one, one, ten more, one, five, but Zimba, but the strategy, you are looking at and they are using other strategy which is different from other political parties. So, uh, you know. We we'll wait to see. We we'll wait to see on the 26th of March, uh, 2022, if that strategy is working. Kanaguti, they are just wasting their time. And Iowa, Zwarugushiga. And so, guys, this is um, daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Get it on in the comment section. And remember to like, share, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel. One thing I like about this whole. Um, Speech is about Nyai violence at Kuru Zire Mirijonga. And uh, because uh, Tirana we are Zimbabweans before any political party. Bonin Mube passed away. Akasia Muri, Akasia Baba, Akasia Mai. And the man was a breadwinner. Saka Mutene got to tea. Political violence. I was just poor guys. Kasa Nyai Guruana Neku Yakvisana Masiso. And again, let's preach peace. Katora Nizre Batana. Because after my elections, Chamu of our own as Zimbabweans, as residents, as community members, as people. We are around. Saka, trust to us and I say, can I start our own way to move around that much change? So no to political violence. So guys, I thank you very much for listening and watching daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Mila Entertainment TV. Please <laughs> subscribe.